getting into his stride. More sixes in international cricket across all formats now, going past Shahid Afridi of Pakistan. And believe it or not, his first boundary of the day. That's teed off and that's gone. Starting to get into his stride. How easy was that? Was that the universe boss? Watch his reaction as it hits the middle of the bat. He doesn't even look really where it went. He just hit it, turned around, started to mark his guard. Come on. There she goes. Similar style, similar bowler. Chris Gale, there's no stopping this man when he hits it. That's in the jerk chicken shed. And he's not in this ground. Gonna have a break here, he's it. This a long way. <laughs> we'll see you later. Teeing off. Goes high, goes hard, and goes for six. Oh, they're doing well in the chicken shack. This one, high up, further, typical of Chris Gale. It's a length ball again. They're doing a roaring trade in the chicken shack. Jerk chicken, rotis, it's an off cutter, it's right in the slot. Well, he gets it completely wrong. It's going to be a no ball for height. What are you going to do now, Guffy? <laughs> Surrender. Get the white flag out. It's a free <laughs> to but you wouldn't have bowled that, would you? You'd have been outside off stump. Oh, oh it's another big one. It's not going to be... Uh, yes, it is. It is going to be out of the ground again. I think that's the fourth of the game so far. Well, treated with uh, disdain. Middle of the bat again from uh, Chris Gale. He just uh, stepped down a couple of times and spotted it over mid-wicket. Oh. Oh, it's gone up a long way. That will take some catching. Not quite. It goes all the way for six. There were three men going back. Josh Butler, one of them. Jason Roy, the other. Well, he really went after this, Chris Gale. It, was, it went way up in the air. Well, that's in the slot again. He doesn't move after hitting that. Oh, that's big. He really launched into that as well. This time he goes on to the leg side. Now well, he's cleared that one quite easily. 302, 300 is at 302 for five. 19-6 of the innings. Oh, he's hit this onto the beach. It's a googly again, but it's too short. He's got the time just to move back into his crease and extend his arms. Forget the breeze. That's into the sand. Hit beautifully down the ground and uh, enough. First six for Chris Gale today. First one out of the ground today. We had about 10 of those yesterday. Third umpire will uh, need to come on and uh, provide us with a few more balls because uh, this is going to happen, I think, quite a bit throughout the day. It's another strong wind. Not the middle of the bat, but the wind is strong and the wind takes it over in the end. Not very happy with the contact, Chris Gill. But power. And a bit of wind, and he's got another six. That low will go all the way for six. Just picked up and dumped into the stand. A little too short, a little too wide on this occasion. So 10 from the over, 75 for one. Goals for it. 
and it goes all the way to the power of this man, Chris Gale. It's only high on the bat as well. I don't think this was out of the middle. Let's have a look. Good. Reinforced onto the offside, pulls it onto the leg side. Sounded really nice. Gale Paul on show. Well, one a couple of overs ago, you weren't sure he hit it in the middle of the bat. This sounded sweet. That is hit so hard. Didn't get the opportunity then, but now the entertainment from the big man, Christopher Henry Gale. It goes all the way yet again. Team up, there she goes. Another six. This is a common sight when Chris Gale is batting. <laughs> and another. And this time through the offside. Slow ball into the surface. How hard is that? He did over extra cover that far as well. Brilliant. Brilliant to just present and keep the face of the bat going through the hitting area. That's gone even further. Up into the top tier of the stand. At wide long arm. And he's gone up a long way. It has in fact gone a long way. Exactly what uh, he is thinking. Another big six for Chris Gale. Six number 500 for Christopher Henry Gale in international cricket. What a record from the big man. Naturally gifted, powerful. Look at the reach here, yeah, he celebrates it. He knows that landmark. Make that just another six for Chris Gale into uh, or on to 97 now. Up a long way, and it will be another six. It's the middle of that bat, and it will keep flying. Wow, that is just extraordinary again. Nothing more than a couple of steps down and a flick, dismissing it out of his presence. And this looked easy. This looked as if he was just completing a little push down to long off. Here's another one. <laughs> Oh, this is just getting ridiculous. Oh, there we go. 150 for C.H. Gale. Six, number 20. In this innings for the Windies. Four away from equaling the world record. Two eight, four for four. Oh, he's going now. I'll tell you, he's got somewhere to go this afternoon. Six. Sixteen without loss. He's absolutely right, Nash. <laughs> There's no flies on him. What a shot this is. This is the luxury of being an opening batsman. When you're chasing down a low score, you just say, people say, are you going to just defend and you got all the time in the world to get it or are you just going to go and tee off? Well, this is the right way to do it, especially if you're Chris Gow. He should play this way every time for this West Indies side or with this intent. Don't worry about taking time. Have a look at a few and then get into your work. This time offside, six more, Did just bounce on the rope there, on the cushion. You just had to prolong that more then, didn't you? <laughs> so far, the, the thing that England struggle with is back of a length and just steep bounce. What Gale's done to work straight away, he's just made him change that plan. So he's had to go full, and that is exactly where Chris Gale wants it. Straight into the cushion. That's gone uh, a long way. Yeah. 
40 for nine. Oh, and the other problem as well, that was the one for the over there. No ball meant that he couldn't go short again or was risking it there. <laughs> just dismissed. Even the extra pace of Mark Wood has just been clipped over mid-wicket for six. And Alicanta, the 50 is up. Required, required right now, 1.41. That is into a stiff breeze as well. That is a big hit. You see the flags. That is going straight into the, where the wind is coming from. This time just heaved. Brute force from Chris Gale. Chris Gale is making short work of this. 12 runs from this over so far. 6.6. Six. Mark Wood now taking some tap. 2.3 overs, 1 for 16. Incredible eye, isn't he? He has. He. I know he's in great, great form and he's a great player. To play shots like that. You also compare it to how everyone else has looked on this surface. He is now 49 from just 17 balls. Another one he's dealing in sixes, even on this bouncy surface. It's been a record-breaking series for big hitting for Chris Gale and company. How many hundreds have we got now? We, we must have hundred hundreds. Hundred hundreds, sixes. <laughs> is it a hundred now? I think it is, 160. Exactly. Another one. Another one. Gale is going to give it his best effort. 38 sixes now in this series for Gale. Just watch how he plays this. He's back of a length. Talked about the naivety of England at getting in line. He doesn't get in line, goes leg side, look at his front foot. Goes way outside leg stump, gives him width outside off stump, and he clatters it into the boundary. Look at the technique here. 39 years of experience. That's gone for six. Nine sixes in the innings for Chris Gale. Well, everybody's on the beach in no time here. Just look at the technique, just stood it, slow it all down. You're watching on his telecaster tour, slow it all down. Front foot goes out the way to the leg side, and he just swings. Oh, brilliant shot. <laughs> Look at the guys.